Welcome Aries to your weekly taroscope for the 17th to the 23rd of July 2017. My name is Katie and I'm a professional intuitive tarot card reader and if you are interested in a private reading with me then please visit my website at katietarot.com or click the link below. Okay so let's have a look at what the week holds for you Aries. I have already prepared the deck so that's completely shuffled in tension everything's ready to go. Um, so let's get started Aries okay right so the first couple of days of the week Aries is um, the card that showed up is a nine of pentacles so the nine of pentacles it is reversed so the nine of pentacles is all about abundance and being quite independent and you know um, being quite satisfied in your life it's a really auspicious card now it is reversed so this could mean that in the first couple of days of the week Aries you might be um, you might you might even take some kind of loss financially or it could be to do with your job or relationships look you're going to have to apply it to your life because it is a general reading um, generally though the Pentacles do mean it's something to do with um, the material world so um, so you know money uh, the home environment that sort of thing um, possessions uh, so let's take a look at the next card Aries and see what it is. See if we can get some clarification going into midweek. All right. So we have the five of swords and that's also reversed. So this is the card of winning and losing. Um, and unfortunately with this card, it's about often look, I mean, you could be the, you could be the winner in this situation. You could be the one that comes out on top. Um, but looking at the card before it the nine of pentacles reversed it looks like aries this week you might be looking at some kind of loss going into midweek uh so just look out for that energy and take stock of what's happening around you um because you you just don't want that to happen um you know things to be taken away from you okay so the third card so this is going into the weekend now and we have the Emperor. Um, now the Emperor is upright. Uh, the Emperor is all about, um, you know, authority. He's the one in control of things. He also does have a really, um, he's got a strong nature. Um, but he is the companion to the Emperor. So he does have the, the natural world around him so he does have that element of nature and beauty around him as well even though in this deck the right of weight it doesn't doesn't particularly show that but it does have the ram's heads and a little bit of water in the background the mountains i suppose but you know he is he's like the king of his domain so that's going into the end of the week and this is a major arcana card aries so going into um uh, this kind of next week then then this card will be um the energies will still be there and also coming back you know in the beginning of this week the energies will still be there coming through so even though you're going to have this some kind of um, loss you're going to feel like something's been taken away from you or um you know whatever it is in your life um you're still going to feel like you're on top of things and you're really in control. So it's not going to affect you too much at all. It's not going to be heartbreak and everything's terrible for you guys this week. That's just not the energy. The tarot is really just saying, look out for the energy of being maybe taken advantage of or, you know, someone could even, someone at work could even be um, wanting to um you know take the spotlight away from you um in some kind of way um or something like that so the energies are there just be aware of that also know that you are fully in control it's not going to affect you too much you're going to be okay it's nothing dramatic nothing really severe that's going to happen um whatever happens you're going to um, take it in your stride and be okay with it but just be aware the energies are there uh, this week for for that to for
for something like that to happen. So let's pull one more card. This um, is the advice card for the week, the overall advice card for the week. So let's have a look at what it is. So we have the page of wands. That's interesting, isn't it? Yeah, so it's really, the cards are really saying that even though you might have some kind of disappointments or loss going on earlier in the week, you're not going to lose your enthusiasm and you're not going to lose that fire elements of the ones and that newness and adventurous spirit that you all have Aries. That's it, whatever happens here isn't going to affect you in a really negative way. Um, so that's really, that's a really positive thing. You know, there's nothing, um, nothing really negative coming through. I'll just see what I can feel psychically with these cards. Yeah, so for most of you, it will be to do with a work situation you're going to feel like someone's taken the limelight away from you someone might have even uh, taken some of your work said it's their own or uh, something like that is going on for for some of my viewers out there it's going to be it's going to involve work colleagues and conflict at work and also it's going to, for some of you, it's going to be about um, communication. So being the swords here, that's coming through really strongly. For some of my viewers, it's going to be about someone's going to think that they have it over you with what they say. And that's not necessarily in a work situation. I'm feeling that could be an in other areas of your life, maybe it could even be something to do with money, I'm feeling, for some of you. So someone's going to feel like they have the upper hand and the control over your money, over your finances in some way. Like they might be withholding money from you or they might be, um, yeah, just controlling the money that you have and even the independence that you have this week uh, so this could be a, a relationship it could be your partner um, as well um, yeah so that's what's coming through for for most of my viewers but please remember that you're going to be um, you're still going to be Aries I mean the Emperor is the Aries card you know he's the epitome of Aries he's uh, fiery strong-willed he's um, he can be dominant in control powerful um, in charge so you're not even though this person yes yeah, so even though someone is going to take something away from you or try to take something away from you you're still going to feel in control of the situation it's not going to affect you you know this this emperor he's on a very solid throne you can see it's almost made you could see it of cement even he's not moving he's not budging so if this person in your work life or in your home life um, or whatever it is in your life whoever this is that's trying to put you off your game or take something from you or um, not give you something that you are entitled to um, money, independence, whatever it is, or say harsh words to you, um, try and have it over you in some way, you're not going to be flustered or phased. They're not going to rock your boat at all, Aries. You're going to be rock solid by the end of the week. And like I said, being a major arcana card, that's going all the way through. Um, that energy of the emperor is flowing all the way through this week and it will go into next week as well to keep, you know, you've got that strength, that Aries element there. And the advice card, of course, is the 
it is the page of wands the the playful energetic page of wands so you're going to still have that um vibrancy and that uh love and that joy about you aries this week regardless of this situation that happens you know that can come that's coming in in beginning of the week to midweek that kind of situation that's going on there so that concludes the reading for the week Aries I really hope you do get something out of it and that it's been um, beneficial to you in some way um, I do read all of the comments that come through so please um, leave your comments below I'm always interested to know how these cards fit into your life and how the tarot and the cards energies are working through your life um, so so yeah please leave a leave a comment if you feel like you need to and don't forget that if you do like my content on my videos then please subscribe to my channel so until next time bye for now